my lovely, lovely imps, and welcome to the first formal Demon Mama video game review. <laughs> review Mama, maybe, if you want to call it that. Uh, please forgive me if the format isn't perfect yet. This is my first formalized review, and I already messed up the intro once. Um, but I really wanted to give this game a special type of review. The game we're going to be reviewing tonight is Darkwood by Acid Wizard Studios. It is a Slavic horror masterpiece, and I cannot recommend this game enough. Seriously. I'm very, very picky about horror games, but I love horror. And the reason why I'm picky about horror games is because I, I, it just doesn't really do much for me to be scared by a jump scare or to have gallons of gore dumping all over me um, in a game or anything along those lines. For a horror game to really unsettle me, it has to go a step further. And Darkwood goes there and more. Darkwood is psychologically twisted. It is unbelievably creative in the way that it, <laughs> the way that it tries to scare you. And most of all, it is incredibly devoted in creating, uh, to incredibly devoted to creating a mechanical sense of fear. In Darkwood, everything is challenging. Your inventory is limited. You have to move items manually with your hand, using your mouse. Every single wall and door and window can impact your vision and your hearing. Now, thank goodness, we don't have the ability to smell things in games because I have a feeling that it would be a little too much for most people to bear, but it uses all of your other senses and it engages them on a very serious level. It is not an easy game. It's an incredibly punishing game, um, but not such, not in such a way that it becomes tedious to play. When you die, it feels like you were rushing. It feels like you were being careless. It feels like you could have prevented it. And chances are you could have. Darkwood is probably my favorite horror game that I've ever played. And I've played a lot of them. So let me tell you about some of the features of Darkwood. Some of the things I really love about Darkwood. Um, Darkwood doesn't really have a setting like any other game I've ever played. It is somber, it is sad, and it is horrifying. Uh, if you've ever had a nightmare about having to, I don't know, say, spend the night in a room with a dead body, then Darkwood is the type of game that might upset you in a good way, if you like being scared. Um, Darkwood is the type of game that goes places with horror that you didn't really think anybody else would ever go. It's the type of game where a family harvests oxygen from the bloated corpse of their dead loved one because they have no other choice but to do that to stay alive. Darkwood is a game about survival against all odds. And as it turns out, you can survive, provided you're willing to put in the time and effort. Darkwood is punishing, but not such that it becomes tedious. And all of the characters in Darkwood have their own unique and mysterious backstory. If you like a game that doesn't just railroad you through the plot, that really wants you to think for yourself, and a game that will terrify you for every single second that you're playing it, while still offering a completely rewarding emotional experience, you gotta play Darkwood because it's hard to explain how amazing the game feels when you make it through another night of the game, another horrifying night of unbelievable psychological attacks. 
and you finally see the sun rising at dawn. And this music that's playing in the background greets you along with a friend. So, at this point, I would like to move forward with the review into playing the intro of the game. Because, honestly, uh, I just really want more people to play Darkwood. And uh, it's a completely digestible game. It took about approximately 40 hours for me to beat the entire game. And I completed the game. I got the, the, the secret ending and everything. So it's a very, very um, manageable game. And I am not good at video games, just so you know. Other people might be able to beat it faster. Um, people who aren't, you know, opposed to using wikis might beat it faster. But, but, um, I think even people who aren't necessarily that good at games can get good at Darkwood. And that's because Darkwood is a game of preparation and thinking ahead. It's a game that teaches you how to survive in an incredibly brutal world. So let me show you what it's like. I'm gonna pause this music here real quick. All right. Let's get this game up and running, huh? Now, as you can tell, this is not, I am not a, a, a video reviewer. I am a streamer. So uh, this won't, won't be the cleanest review ever, but I hope it's still enjoyable. All right, let's get this up. Yeah, it's on sale right now for $5. Although when you're with those of you who are watching the video, you might not, uh, <laughs> you might not get that price. All right, let's get this in here. Game time. There we go. Let me just uh, select this real quick here. Got to capture the game. Bada boom. Don't worry, the intro is not too, too spooky. We're going to start a new profile. We're not going to skip the prologue. We're going to turn off the Indiegogo content. And we're going to put this on normal difficulty. Probably turn up the audio just a little bit. Oh. Damn, Gina, that'd be great. Let's play. You are playing a challenging and unforgiving game. You will not be led by the hand. Respect the woods. Be patient. Focus. Now, many games have little edgy warnings like this, but this one is real. Respecting the woods, be patient, and focus is the best advice. Um, yeah. This is a horror game. There's n there's so much in this. There's no way I can... Um, no, there's no jump scares in the beginning of the game. I promise. The, this game is not a jump scare game. Uh, uh, there are scary moments and there are things that will scare you, but there, it's not a jump scare game. You better respect them. I see hatred and fear in their eyes. There are monsters in this game, yes. As if I was responsible for the spreading disease. As if I were the source of all the misery plaguing this land. I have nowhere to hide from them, nowhere to run. The woods have closed us off from the outside world. We are all doomed. So as you can see, this is a top-down game with photorealistic art. Alcohol distiller, a homemade device for producing moonshine. Got some pills here. We got a notepad. It's empty. Now you'll notice every movement makes noise. Everything you do makes noise, and that is very important. Noise, managing how much noise you make, and um, and managing uh, how much 
noise the things around you make is incredibly important to this game, as is listening for the noises that other things may make. See how that, look at the vision here. Do you see how the vision is limited by the door? Now, this is very generous. Most areas will not be as well lit as this in the game. Also, you'll notice um, that your character will remember s stationary objects. As you scan a room, stationary objects will be remembered by your character in this sort of fog of war that you can see on the screen. Got some shoes. Nope, nothing I can take there. Got a chair. Ah, we got a camera. An old camera. Medical bag. And a photo. What the hell is this? Got some medical tools. They haven't been sterilized for years. The local patients can't be helped anyway. Got some cages. This time they're empty. A rag in the cage. Got a cage here. Do you hear that? I don't have any lockpicks, okay. My bed. I've just woken up. Radio Unitra. You can only select and interact with objects within your reach. The interaction range is indicated by the color changing cursor. This radio has been silent for a long time. This radio has been silent for years, although sometimes I think I can hear voices through the static. I'm just going to warn you if you're disturbed by if you're disturbed by animal death or anything like that, that's a lot of this game. We got a key, we got a medical book with some interesting diagrams here. Looks like we've got some signs of progressing illness and some notes here, as well as signs Right there. Grab these boards, grab these matches, grab this alcohol, and this rag. I best not enter this room right now. Uh oh. Alright. Let's head outside. Wooden doll. A large humanoid, humanoid doll with a carved out face. Got some nails over here and some wood. Got a rope. My dog. I don't think he's going to make it. I should end his suffering. I don't have anything to end his suffering with right now. And now you'll notice, look at this. When you reach into your bag and you look down, notice how it restricts your vision? Better be careful about digging through your bag when enemies could sneak up with you. Uh, your hand, you can't use, uh, there's no like fist attack in this game. That's the only thing. Now I do have an ax. Should I go end the dog suffering chat? Mercy? Very well. It's probably for the best. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Sorry, pupper. It's for the best. These trees are growing too fast. 
Soon I won't be able to cut them down fast enough. Snare traps. I must be careful. The woods are full of them. This game has a lot of traps in it, and you need to be very careful. Now, you can run, but running has some costs. Now, listen to that soft sounds in the background. Oh, this game is very much inspired by the thing. No doubt. The woods have devoured all the roads that connected us to the outside world. No one is able to pass through this thicket. <laughs> I just got scared by the crows. Holy shit. <laughs> now, one thing about the thing, the sound design in this game. Thunder will always scare you forever. I promise you. It's very much like real life. If you've ever been outside in, a, in the woods in a thunderstorm, you'll know it'll scare you. No matter how low you turn the volume down, that thunder is going to scare the shit out of you. It's just the way it goes. Fallen tree. Now, here's something really unique. One of the things I love about this game, one of my favorite features, is that the map is your character fills in the map as you go. So when you find things on the map, like this fallen tree, see how I just found this fallen tree? Your character will fill it in. But you own... And if somebody tells you about a specific location, you'll be able to fill it in in your map. But that's very rare. And you'll usually have to pay something for it. Like do a favor or something like that. It's really great. The map system is amazing. Yes, I have. These parts of the woods are dark. I should craft a torch. You generally want to be very careful with the dark. Just a general rule for this game. Just so you know. Let's grab a torch here. Oh, foxes are pretty scary when they scream. But you want to know what's really scary? Fucking mountain lions. Mountain lions are terrifying. Do you see how dark this game gets? There's a reason why it's called Darkwood. Climbing over objects is very important, but it will slow you down. Ah, we found the abandoned house. Climbing in through the window. Hey, some bread. Stack up the bottles, drop the nail in the stack with the other nails. Where's the other nails? Did I not pick up any nails? Thought I did. Well, we'll get rid of the bone for now. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, looks like it's all barricaded off. We can't really do much inside this house. We're gonna have to go around. Hear how that stick broke? Oh god. Oh god. In a few days, it will be completely absorbed. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Do you see this? Now, we could repair this door, maybe. But that would make a lot of noise, and we don't have enough nails. A lot of bugs crawling around down here. That's not a good sign. Look at the- look at the grass. Look at how the grass moves. 
Look at that art. Unmatched. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. I think this one is still breathing. Big metal key. If there is an exit out of these woods, this key will surely open it. 21. Remember that number, chat. He's unconscious. I've never seen him around here before. He's only carrying a key in some journal. Since he managed to sneak in here, he must know how to get out. Of course, he won't help me voluntarily. But that... is of no importance. I need to get out of this accursed forest. Show me how and I will let you go. Sometimes I hear her voice. She's calling me. Calling me to return home. Where's the exit? Where? Show me where. I'll kill you like a dog if I have to. That fucker stole my key. I'm hurt. I could use these rags to craft some bandages to heal myself. Do the bandages, and look, we can also craft a lockpick. How convenient. He shouldn't have left us any wire. An entry to a small cellar. Maybe a pantry? Let's open it up. Hey, we got us a shovel and a flashlight. Now we've been barricaded. The barricade is too strong to dismantle. Well, we'll just have to smack it open. Got a syringe. The radio. Covered in blood now. Metal table with leather belt strapped on. We got a table leg. We got... Something is moving around in here.
generator is out of gasoline, so we're going to need to pour some gasoline in. Which means we gotta do it manually. Did you hear that? I didn't turn the power on yet. The corpse has two dials instead of eyes. His mouth is wide open and I can hear a distorted voice, barely distinguishable from the radio static. Turn on the generator! Turn on the generator! He's a... It's a corpse. He's just twitching. Four, eight, nine, two. Four, eight, nine, two. Four, eight, nine, two. Okay. Let's remember that, chat. Four, eight, nine, two. So, might, we might be able to bash our way out. What's this in here? Four, eight, nine, two. Ah. Well, that's helpful. Four, eight, nine, two. Two. Who's there? Please, let me out. Do we let him out, chat? This is one of the... Do we want to let him out? The door seems stuck. I need to apply some force to it. Help me. Come closer. <laughs> ah! I forgot this guy does that. <laughs> Holy shit. This is one of the alternate, this is one of the things you could do in the beginning that's uh, uh, optional. He came to me, I didn't even go that much closer. A small plastic chick. Okay. What the? And how do you want to get out now? You think you can manage all by yourself? Hear it? Something bit us. And we have no- we had no health. Nah. Thankfully they give you one gimme. You can die once in the beginning, before you have any consequences. alternate way to survive that encounter, but I'm not sure. It's very hard if there is a way. Chapter 1. No. Uh, there is a permadeath mode, but uh, death in this game comes at a cost. When you die, you lose hours of the day. Every day that passes in game, the game gets harder. And when you die, you also drop some of your goods. You'll drop random things from your inventory, so it can be a very big deal. Um, it isn't like Dark Souls where you're meant to die 3,000 times. Um, I died quite a bit, but it's, yeah, it's medium core. There's a, there are costs to dying, 
but it's not uh, going to ruin you forever. That's the thing. You just lose time on the day, which makes the game slowly har um, harder. So when do you permadeath? Permadeath is only on hardcore mode. Other than that, yeah, you don't want to lose. You don't want to lose shit. Now you can go retrieve your stuff, but that means you're going to have to spend a lot of time going back to that place. And sometimes it might not be worth it. Items in this game are very limited and they're also very important. So I, when I say that like death has heavy consequences, it does. But again, it's not, um, it's not a, a total drag if you die forever, but you can lose some stuff. I've had some tough spots in this game myself. A pleasant warmth is emanating from the oven. I can sense a strange yet familiar scent. It's the smell of the protective substance, which gives me relative safety after dark. The vapors rising from the huge cauldron are distributed all over the house via long pipes. As long as I rem remain inside my hideout, I have a chance of surviving the night. Examine the oven. When I arrived here a couple of days ago, the oven was basically prepared. I just needed to light it up to ensure my safety at night. This cottage must have been one of our hideouts. The inhabitants of these woods don't need to inhale this revolting gas. Look at the weird bottle. The label on the bottle says, Staying out of the reach of the protective substance after nightfall results in immediate death in 99 out of 100 cases. It is advised to evenly spread the gas in the sleeping area. Warning. Even a properly prepared substance does not guarantee 100% safety. Remain vigilant. It is recommended to stay in a well-lit indoor areas in order to minimize the risk. Look inside the pot. A small, empty, cast iron pot. I haven't used it yet. I haven't felt any hunger or thirst since the accident a few days ago. I can't stop thinking about one thing. These mushrooms. These red, pulsating mushrooms. They look so tasty. Maybe this pot will prove useful after all. Cook. Finding mushrooms and other sources of essence are very important in this game. Hey, look, we got some out here. How convenient. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Yo, wait a minute. The map is iterated from the last time I played it. What? I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. This is reversed. The house is reorganized. This is, di the, the first hideout is different from the first time I played it. I didn't know it did that. So apparently the certain aspects of the max, ma of the map shuffle. That's really cool. Melee weapons have a secondary attack. Okay. The generator is half empty. It contains enough gasoline for one more night. I should find a full can in the house above the underground entrance. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. I mean, I know that the structures are like the, the, well, I guess it is a little different. It has certain features that are the same, but others that are different. By the way, welcome to all of the Vosh Raiders. Happy to have you. I'm doing a review right now, so I apologize if I'm not as uh, interactive with chat as I usually am. I got a photo that was titled The Road Home. So let's cook us some mushrooms, huh? There we go. We got a little bit. We got a bed. You hear something? The bear trap under the window is still open. Looks like this night was ex exceptionally uneventful. The Mushroom Book. The title reads, The Use of Mushrooms in the Household. Alright. Straightforward enough. Hey, 
Hey, we got some more mushrooms. Yesterday, I barricaded one of the windows. If I want to stay here for some time, I should do that with the other windows. Torch went out. Shit. Hmm. Anybody remember the code? Four, eight, nine, two? Uh, it's not the same one. Mm -hmm. Two one four eight nine two four eight nine two. Not the right code, huh? Well, we'll have to find the code for this thing. It's two one. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a totally different. This is a totally different layout than what I last played on. This is, they, it actually does iterate the map. That's wild. Some codes change and some are static, depending on if they're story related or non-story related. I didn't know about the map iteration though, because I've only played my, my last save until now. So as you can see, being able to look around is pretty important, and being able to manage your sight lines is really, really important. I found a burned house. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. truck is here. No. Please. Get the fuck out. That doesn't sound good. Not a fan of the disembodied voices. I don't think I can open this door yet. Yeah, I don't have a key. So I can't find what's on the other side. And it looks like their generator is fucked, whoever they are. Tasty sounds. Yeah, those mushrooms. You get your tummy grumbling, huh? Can I even... I don't even have wood yet. If I encounter an enemy, I'm totally owned. I'm gonna have to run if I find an enemy. I don't even have a weapon yet. So I better be careful. So we found a field. Looks like some kind of... plant. Okay! Heard a bark. Okay, I heard a bark. Okay, let's stay away. Okay, let's stay away from that. Oh shit, there's something over here in the woods too. I just heard it crack a stick. Not good. Not good. I have no wood at all yet. Oh, we got a wood pile here. Oh, somebody took all our wood. Well, let's go cook these mushrooms. Listen, I don't know if it's an evil dog, but I don't trust it. There's no wood in the wood pile. Yeah, unfortunately, they took all our wood. You better be careful. Now, as you can see, we don't have any way but using the light of the day to, to decide what time of day it is. Hello there. You okay, dude? 
You, you all right? Okay. You you good? Okay. Well, he doesn't seem particularly aggressive. All right. Yeah, I don't know if it's a person. Yeah, they aren't hurting anybody. They were just hanging out over here at this thing. Whatever this is. Some kind of shrine, I guess. Well, we gotta fuck. We can't make blood right now because we don't have any weapons. A bunny! Oh. That's a person. I can smell your stench from far away, meat. Even from afar, I can smell your putrid stench. Be glad I don't have an appetite for carcasses, meat. The figure hides its face under the hood. It smells of wet soil and fur. I know what you're after. I can help you reclaim what you've lost if you help me attend to a certain matter. What do you say, comrade? As he leans towards me, I can hear him giggling under the hood. I knew it would interest you. Before we make a deal, you need to prove that you can do the job. I have no time for weaklings, meat. You follow? Show me what you're made of. Get through to the silent forest. If you think it's so easy, if I were you, I would prepare myself well before setting out. When you get there, you'll find me in this spot. Remember it. The wolf grabs my map and scribbles something on it. The likes of you always crawl back to me. Show item. Beautiful item, perfect for a church fair. What's that you got there? The wolf snatches the photograph from my hand and studies it carefully. Finally, he snorts. Thick yellow spit landing on the photo. Ha! This road doesn't exist anymore. Overgrown with trees, just like all the other ones. The wolf throws the photo on the ground. You better forget about the road home, meat. Around here, all the roads lead to nowhere. I'd avoid getting into trouble if I were you, meat. Or at least until you get a decent weapon. Hey, we found a bear trap. That's good. Could disarm that. Broken tree. Okay. Corpse. Hey, we got some gasoline. Oh, thank you, Gina. Thank you so much. That's really generous of you. Thank you. Oh, wow. We got a pill. We got some wire. And we got some extra rags. Hell yeah. Got a battery. Some scrap metal. Some extra wire. More gasoline. Damn. We're lucking out on the gasoline here. Congrats, you two. There's the wolf. Yeah. He's hanging out by a busted ass tractor. Where we gotta go from here? Okay. Two corpses. Yeah, a little sus, huh? I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to know what to make of any character yet. Of course, I know the answer, but you all don't. Yeah, why am I acting sus? Good question. Let's put some gasoline in here, huh? We want to be ready for the night. Sound design in this game, god tier. 
Beautiful, huh? Now we, I think we might be able to craft something. Yeah, look at that. Wait, no, we can't. Oh, we're missing boards. We still need wood. Well, let's deposit our scrap metal. Our matchsticks, our rags, our, well, we'll keep our wire with us. In fact, we'll make it into a lock pick. And then we'll put the other wire here. Put the battery in here. Drop our gasoline off. We can take alcohol. We can drop off the nails and we'll keep the rope with us just in case we need to use rope. Let's see if we can find some wood. We haven't gone to the right side yet. Let's go check out this direction. Cookie! Hey, look, we got a little road over here. Maybe we can follow this road. Yeah, there's a dog patrolling somewhere over here. We gotta be careful. Because if, if he attacks us, we don't have anything to defend ourselves with right now. Shit, I just heard a stick crack over there. I think he might be down over there. Maybe we'll be able to slip by then. Burned houses. Oh, shit. Sounds like there might be a dog in there. Ah, shit. We need a fucking weapon. We really need a weapon. But we haven't found any wood yet. Maybe there'll be some wood over here. In my other game, it, I was able to find wood a little easier, but I had a much harder time with gasoline. Shit, I hear the dogs. Fuck. They're fighting with something. That's probably not a good sign. Now, enemies in this game... Enemies in this game do fight with each other. So... Ah! There's a dog in that house. I just saw it. I just fucking saw it. That shit will take the- Ah, shit! There's another dog right there! Fuck! There's two of them! They're calling each other. Fuck! How are we gonna do this? We really need- We just need one log so we can fight the dogs. If we can get a torch, we'll be able to fight the dogs. What? Oh, this is bad. We've arrived at... We found the wedding. Oh, shit. Ah, that chain is longer than I thought it was. Something's... Oh, fuck. Maybe we can slip past the dog. Did you hear that? Maybe we can slip past the dog. Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to slip past the dog. I don't know why the dogs hate us. Dog! Leave us alone! I just wanna- Oh, crud! We can't even get back out, can we? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Oh my god. Oh! He almost bit me. Fuck. Oh god, it's getting... Notice the color? Notice the color of the light is getting darker? That means we're running out of time. We gotta be careful now. Look, it's getting darker. We'll have to go back to the wedding another time. We need to find some wet. We need to find some wood before, before dark. Oh, I'm really nervous about going in here. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, let me get something out of this crate. Ah, fuck! Ah, it's coming after me! Dude, fuck off! I have no way to fight you! Okay, good, it left me alone. Jesus Christ. We have no torches and it's already fucking night. This is not good. 
I must return to my hideout before nightfall. There's the courtesy warning the game, the game gives you. That's not good. That's not good. I actually have never had this happen. I've never not been able to find wood before, uh, before the first nightfall, ever. That's really not good. I'm amazed there's no logs here. Normally there's logs, I think. I don't even have enough to repair. I can't even shut the doors. I don't have a way to barricade the doors. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, I need to go here. Here's what we'll do. We need to turn the generator on. We already searched the corpse. We're gonna have to take a risk here. I Shit. That corpse has nothing on it. Oh, we're getting trolled. Oh God, it's so dark. I have to go back. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope we can make it through the night with no weapons. No weapons. And no... Oh, this isn't good. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try a unique strategy, chat. Alright? We're going to try my patented cower in the corner and make no noise all night long strategy. Now, I happen to know a small little secret here. If light doesn't shine out the windows, they, enemies have a harder time finding you if light isn't shining out the windows. Now this is a problem here because it's shining through these cracks. However, actually, you know what? Watch, let's do this. Come on, 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 come on. Let's push this lamp into the corner. Hopefully. Oh, that's not good. All right. Here we go. Now we don't move. Now we don't move at all. Yeah, I can't even... You're all monk of gunning, but I don't have a gun. I don't have a fucking gun. I got shit. Look at this. I got fucking nothing. I have nothing. Oh shit, I hear footsteps already. Fuck! Don't look out the windows. Don't look out the windows. Don't look out the windows. And I don't have any way to keep track of the time yet. So we just have to wait it out. Oh, it's only a small amount of light. Well, if the light's in the corner... No, we're not safe, but we're safer. Because I'm blocking the window. See, only a little bit of light is shining out. I'm blocking most of it with my body. I can hear things moving outside. I'm, uh, I'm gonna die. If we get a night event, do you go insane in the dark? No, but you get attacked. So does your character, your character is too afraid to sleep. I can give you a little, little tiny bit of lore in a second. How long is the night time? Oh fuck. Mushroom. I want the mushroom, I'm hungry. Oh shit, the door just opened. Who opened the door? Is it- are they just fucking with me? Don't move. Don't move. If they don't hear me, they'll go away. No moving. No moving, even for yummy mushrooms. Fuck, there's something right outside the window. I can hear it. I can hear it fucking moving out the window. Do you hear it? There's something pacing outside the fucking window.
It definitely knows that we're in here. I don't think it knows where. The enemies in this game have varying levels of, of being able to understand where you are. Yeah, if I had gotten those mushrooms, they would have known where to go. Yeah. Now, I think you can pick those mushrooms, but I would have made noise and they would have been able to see me through the window. Now, if anybody comes over here, I'm fucked. <gasps> yeah, enemies are really smart in this game. Well, I mean, for monsters, yeah. They can still be tricked. We could see out the window, but that would mean shining our light out the window, and I don't want to shine the light out the window. <gasps> There's a mushroom out there. Look, it's fucking tempting me. There's a fucking yummy mushroom right there. I don't think you can push the bed. Oh, oh it's gone. Oh, you, you'll have to find out. Ghostly shofar. I'm not doing it. I don't have a weapon. I'll die. Certain enemies are stronger in the dark. And if you don't have light, then you get attacked by something you can't see. Don't move. I heard something moving out there. Yeah, and characters don't sleep due to fear. Yep. Yeah, a little bit of light is, but a little bit of light is okay at this point in the game. Later on, not so much. Oh, I think we made it. Oh, we made it. We made it to the first morning. Friend! Friend! My boy! A man roughly my size is standing before me. I can barely make out his disturbingly familiar features through the matte visor of his helmet. The massive helmet is covered with an old sack and seems to be an integral part of the unnaturally pale body. I remember him. He's the one who rescued me from the doctor's house. The man reaches out to me with his black hand. It's covered in charcoal. There's something written on his worn woolen glove. We need to stick together, brother. His lips are moving, but all sounds are drowned inside the helmet. He shrugs, then takes the huge sack off his back and drops it on the ground, revealing its contents. He wipes his left glove on his pants, takes out the charcoal from his pocket, and starts scribbling. When he finishes, he lifts his dirty hand. All roads lead deeper into the woods. <sighs> and now we can buy some wood from this guy. We'll buy some wood. He's got bullets. This guy's got fucking everything. Oh, be careful, Ada. Let's get some wood, huh? We did it. We made it through the first night. I'll check my Discord DM in just a moment. We need to go get our stuff from the table. And now, we've got a torch. Now, we can start to fight. And that is where I will end my preview of this wonderful game because I want you all to go experience it yourselves.